Hey there, there's always so many questions flying around the interwebs about basic score editor tips in Cubase. So I'm gonna show you the most basic tip I can give you, how to turn a melody into score. In this example here, I've got a melody which I've recorded in on my MIDI keyboard. I've cleaned it up. I've made sure all the notes represent a line or a, a note or a word that I'm singing in my melody. And basically, I've quantized it so that it's sitting exactly on the grid. To quantize it, basically, you need to highlight the event so you can see it down the bottom and then go into this window and find an appropriate setting. Next up, Command R or scores open score editor and you will see this and it looks crazy so don't panic all you need to do is make sure you've clicked outside on the white area somewhere on the page and in cubase 11 we now have this amazing new window on the right hand side and you'll see this properties section here so you can use a preset i'm going to create a lead sheet in the next couple of videos and now i'm just using this drop down menu here to scroll through some settings, which is basically subdivisions with rests or you know with minimal rests. And there you go. Straight away, I have found the perfect setting for my melody. Now it's a matter of adding a key signature. So if you know what key your song's in, make sure you grab it up from the left-hand side and then just click here with your pencil. Mine's in C major, so I don't need to worry about that. It's also in 4-4, four, four, which is a very common time signature for contemporary music. There you go. There is a melody and you can start making lead sheets. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to quickly add lyrics to your lead sheet. Thanks for sticking around and checking this video out. Please subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel and give us the thumbs up if you've been able to create your own melody in the score editor. Catch you soon.